Well, it looks like we might have an update on the missing Titanic submarine. This coming from the Coast Guard announcing that they found a debris field in search for the Titan submarine. And I'm just going to give my speculation on what happened. Two days ago, I came out with a video and said, you know, could it have sprung a leak and imploded? Looks like that's the case, at least from this report of there being a debris field on the ground, on the ocean floor, in and around where the Titanic is. The idea is it gets sent down from the mothership, the Titan submarine does, about an hour 45 in, they lose signal, that's when the potential implosion happens, it would all be very quick, and it would be an instant death for everyone on board, and it would completely destroy the entire submarine, and the only thing left would be debris, that is the idea that it imploded about an hour 45 minutes into its descent down to the Titanic. Once it implodes, it completely gets destroyed and all of the remaining parts float down and that's where they would find the debris. That is my current working theory on the situation. There's been a lot of questions about it. You know, people keep asking, did the submarine get stuck inside the grand staircase? No, that's not possible when you're talking about Something like Titan, it's far too big to actually go inside of the Titanic. The Grand Staircase is actually fully hollowed out. It doesn't exist anymore. That does make it easy to explore the different decks on Titanic, but something this large would not be able to get into the Titanic. This is more for observing the bow area in and around that section. I'm guessing that's what they were going down to do. They've done a lot of these and this time it seems like, unfortunately, it is fatal. And then there's a bunch of crap. I'm just going to go through and react to this. Will the missing submarine be found by June 23rd? So a lot of people were surprised that something like this is even, you know, you could even bet on something like this. But oh yeah, there's markets you can bet on anything. And I guess my question would be, it's been found possibly, but it's a debris field. So I'm guessing they're saying found alive. And then there's this, so, you know, this is where it gets really childish, so, you know, people hate Elon Musk now, so, they were trying to claim that it's Elon Musk's Starlink satellite's fault, they, they provide communications, and it's their fault that this is happening, and originally, look at the fact checker saying it's true, it moves to unproven, the exact same claim, by the way, and the recent update is, oh, it's false, because I guess, you know, people were trying to say Elon Musk, you know, his... SpaceX, Starlink, satellites, lost connection, and it's their fault. Meanwhile, it's just people that don't like Musk making stuff up, which is normally how it is. And you can see, you know, zero days, zero hours, there was a countdown left on it. That's a good aerial view of what it looks like on the interior. You know, that is a, a rough... I don't think there was any, because there's been a lot of speculation about how they would actually lose oxygen, and apparently how it works is you would just go unconscious. It really wouldn't be a suffocation. You would go unconscious and then suffocate due to the lack of oxygen, but with the idea that they found debris at the bottom of the ocean, if that is really what it is, it could just be some other debris. I mean, this is the ocean. No one really knows. Maybe they were just kind of swept up with a current when they were towards the bottom, and they just kind of are floating right along the bottom surface of the ocean floor, that would probably signal, yes, they would end up running out of air and just, get, you know, going uncon... and then just going unconscious. Oh, this is a good view of it. Trapped in a submarine, what ends up happening to you? Panic, hypothermia, gradual suffocation. Passengers will struggle to breathe, develop headaches, and slowly become unconscious. A well, the difference is... A lot of people view suffocation like, almost like drowning. You're trying to breathe and you can't. I think it's a different process when it comes to something like this. Y you might struggle, but you like, it's not going to be this thing where you're like gap gasping and gasping for air, like drowning, you know, eventually how you breathe in water because you just can't take it. I don't think that's really what happens with a suffocation like this, but again, it isn't looking like this happens. It, it, you know, if it did implode, it was a very, very quick Ocean Gate CEO missing in Titanic sub, had a history of donating to GOP candidates. Yeah, see, this just isn't necessary, uh, especially right now as the thing is missing. It's unfortunate that people have to be so 
I would just say immature. It's just so sad. Why? Why do we have? Why can we at least not wait for the rescue to go and, and to see what happens? You've got people uh, just completely immature. And then this was an interesting thing from a doctor. Despite their onboard oxygen tank expected to be depleted sometime Thursday morning, one doctor said they may have more time if the passengers are still alive. He estimates the five people on board the lost Titanic Taurus sub could survive another 10 to 20 hours with air still circulating through the capsule. A professor at Duke University said that despite conditions being dire, those aboard the Titan submersible could extend the oxygen available after its tank depleted by staying calm and moving as little as possible. That would be best case scenario. You know, this was before it was the debris was found. We're not 100% sure the debris is the Titan, but it is possible. And you can see the location. That's the other big issue when it comes to rescuing it. It's just in such a remote spot. Wendy Rush, wife of the missing Titanic submarine pilot, is the great-great-granddaughter of two first-class passengers who died arm-in-arm -arm on the Titanic. A fictionalized version of the couple was featured in James Cameron's 1997 Titanic. So the wife of the missing Titanic submarine pilot. Wow, that is a, a pretty remarkable there. But that is just the latest update on what happened. Best guess, I said it two days ago, it sprung a leak because if they lose contact about an hour 30 into it from the mothership, that's when they lost the contact. As they were going down to the wreck, it springs a leak, something goes wrong, it implodes, they're all unfortunately dead instantly, and the remaining wreckage from the Titan submarine falls to the ocean floor, and that's that might be what the debris field they're referencing on the search from the Coast Guard, maybe that's what it is. Or again, it could just be random de debris. If that's the case, I would say my other guess would be they would be somewhere along the ocean floor, swept up in a current, probably in really bad shape, possibly uh, already passed away. It just depends. But now if it was an implosion, my question becomes, where did the implosion happen? Was it right above the Titanic? Let's say it was. Did debris go raining down onto the Titanic? Is the Titanic damaged at all from the debris from Titan? It's a very interesting question, speculation. I would guess it would be very unlikely the Titanic would be hit by any debris from the Titan after implosion. But you never know, especially if it was right above it. And if it's like an hour 45 into its descent, it's well over halfway there if it takes like two, two and a half hours. It's actually almost on top of the Titanic. You know, the reason I use the hour 45 is because they went is when they lost signal. But you could also say, well, what if they lost signal just because of a malfunction, went down and something else happened? That could be the case as well. Maybe they're stuck in a fishing net or something, you know, in between the ocean floor and also the surface. But yeah, I don't think they're stuck in the Titanic. It's just too big. I don't even think those tours go in the ship. You would have to have a little drone. You have the submarine outside of the Titanic, and then you have the drone on another camera, and you remote control. I probably shouldn't be talking about remote controls right now, but no, you remote control the drone camera into the actual Titanic because it's a lot smaller. Otherwise, the only other thing I can think of is it banged into the side of the Titanic and somehow got stuck. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.